Have you ever wondered how those mobile apps refresh their content with just a simple pull down gesture? It feels smooth, intuitive and satisfying, right? But how do you actually build that? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to implement pull down to refresh in your React Native and Expo mobile app. How it made it simple and easy for you to understand. So whether you're a beginner or looking to polish your skills, this tutorial is perfect for you. So let's dive in. Now, if this video was just one of those comedy skits or one of those funny videos that just make you laugh and laugh, I believe you would have subscribed by now. But you know what? People don't usually subscribe to stuff that help and build their life and career. Educative content like this. So please click the subscribe button so you can encourage me to keep making good and interesting content like this for you. So let's get into the business of today. Now, I have a blank React Native and Expo screen here and I just have a safe area view with another view and a simple text that is saying product. So now what we're going to do here is that we're going to try to fetch some data on this screen and when we fetch that data, when we pull down, it will show the loading bar and refresh the, um, the, the screen. So the, the, the data we fetched previously, we have to refresh again because that's what happened when you refresh. So it refresh everything in the app. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to install Azios npm so we can use it to fetch our data and that's installed now so i can import it here at the top next i'm going to create data and loading states for our um, products that we're going to be fetching Can set this to an empty array for now and i think my code editor knows what i want to do already so let's also add this so we, in case we have an error now the next thing we'll do is to get the api that will be fetching the data form so we'll be using fixed store api so let's search for that so we can get our um, the endpoint that we'll be using So we'll be fetching from the products endpoint. So I'll just copy that and we'll go back to our code editor and use it there. Now we'll paste that here const URL equals to this. Now we'll go ahead with writing our function for fetching the data. So we'll call it fetch data and it will be an asynchronous function and let's use our try and catch block here so i can use catch i'll catch an error so first let's write our try block so we can have um we can set our loading to be true first then we get a response from the api url and now we can set the data to whatever the response is and we can also log it to the console and if there's an error we'll just log the error to the console Oh, I thought I was in VS Code. I switched over to WebStorm some weeks back and it's been really nice to me. And we can do it final, uh, finally here and set our loading to first. So Then beneath that, we'll use our use effect to fetch the data. So I'll use effect to make sure that this piece of code runs after our initial render. So that's the first thing that's going to happen. Now we're going to create the refresh control. So what will happen when we um, pull down or when we drag our screen down. So that's what we're going to create here. So we'll call it on refresh and uh, it won't be an asynchronous function. 
to be um, a callback use callback and just like this using react use callback so we'll fetch the data and we'll be importing this so why are we getting an error okay i was supposed to add this yeah all right so the next thing we'll be doing now is to create our flat list render item that we'll be using to display the product of the data we are fetching so that's what we'll be doing now so as you can see here we already have our data okay so we'll deal with that issue so let's move on so let's create a render item we'll call it render item So we have to create a type for this. Let's call it interface um, item props. I'm not supposed to be teaching TypeScript in this course. Okay, this will be title price of that number. We also have the image that will give type string. So we can just do item of type item props here and then we have our function so let's write um, a, create a view uh, why is this so we'll have uh, that view we have style of styles or item i already wrote out the style for this because i'm not like teaching styling so we'll have image that will import from react native and the source would be item dot image yes so we we'll have to import this yeah. and okay this will be um like this Yeah, and we'll have style for it. Okay, let's call it image. So let's add the product details. We'll add another view. I feel the error is that we forgot to do our return and that's why it's coming up so yeah we have our render item and we can now create our flat list to use our render item so first of all we will have to import our flat list from react native and then flat list has a okay yeah it has data which we'll call data no like this oh so this data is the data that we're getting into our state here from which we are setting the data when we are fetching it from our fixed or api so is that easy so our render item will be render item which is this We'll have a key extractor 
which is something that is um okay let me do this so our key extractor will be let me use the items id so yes um i think we'll have to close this yeah so there we have it our flat list um so if i save now you can see on the screen that all the products are displaying so the reason why this is happening is because i forgot to add a dependency array to my use effects here so if i save that you see that it stops um so yeah that's it so the last thing we'll have to do to make our refresh um our drag down to refresh working is to add what we call a refresh control now if i save that you're going to see an area that says gss attribute must only be assigned to non-empty expression now the reason is because we have to use um gsx um so let me let me just do that refresh i must re import refresh control from react native and then i'm going to add refreshing when it's refreshing what should happen then we should have loading and on refresh should be on refresh and we can close that so what we just did here is that we added um, this refresh control which we imported from react native and then um, we are setting it that when it's refreshing what should happen it should be loading right so the loading state should be true and what should uh refresh what should happen for the refreshing to work is uh, our function here which we have created which is called on refresh so we just save that and i believe we have no error so if you look closely now when i drag down it's refreshed and then it fetched the data again let me show you the console here the terminal rather so when i drag down you see it refreshed and it fetched the data again so that's how simple it can be i hope you understand and you are able to use this feature in any app you're building it works the same for android and for ios as you can see here it's not difficult or maybe it's difficult and i just broke it down so you're welcome so that's it from this video please leave a like subscribe and share this video to your developer friends who would like to become very good react native developer thank you very much and stay blessed